comfortable with that because my husband has to be able to deal with me being with a lot of men and not um, being nervous about it. Very few men are like that, so it was a gift from God to get him. So you're in Atlanta, uh, where many of, many of us are still looking for Mr. Wright. And, and, and 44 years is such an accomplishment. Just tell me, what, what, are, what are the top things that you should know to have a successful relationship, in your opinion, for 44 years? So say if somebody who's only been married three years, I really want to know. Yes. Okay, first of all, we didn't have kids right off. We didn't have children for four and a half years. Oh, wow. The, uh, the other thing was that we had naturals. This is back in the 70s. We lived in Europe. At six, uh, we ate. It, we well, we went to school. We bicycled to school through the cornfields to University of Stockholm. We came home. We bought the groceries. We cooked dinner together. We put the tea kettle on, and then I sat down between his legs while Mommy! we got. <laughs> All right. Now let's do it, Jerry. Now let's do it. What happened was. We, he would part my hair, scratch my scalp, yes! oil it, with That's burn, real man shit. And, okay. and then I would do the same to him. Now man. what that meant was we That's talked what me a lot. For so real. he knew about real man I shit had. Right he knew I had, I sh we shared a lot about one another. So we became very, very close friends. So when I would act out about something, he would say, well, you're probably acting like that because your father said this, or that happened to you in school because he knew my history. And that was extremely important because in the 13th year of our marriage, we broke up. But he was still my friend. So.